Hello there! It is time. It is finally time. Because today I found the one movie, the only movie in the Ewan mcgregor -athon that I couldn't find. And today I'm going to watch Nora. So after this I have seen literally every feature film that Ewan McGregor has been in. In case you couldn't tell, I am very excited. What do I know about Nora? Not much. Uh, I think Ewan McGregor is going to play James Joyce, uh, who I know is an Irish poet. Uh, is he Irish? I'm not sure actually. Is he a poet? Could also be a writer. As I said, I'm not too familiar with James Joyce. Um, I do know the movie takes place in Dublin, so that's probably why I thought he was Irish. Uh, apart from that, I don't know much about this. It's a biopic, which we all know isn't my favourite genre, but oh well. Uh, I'll, I'll sit through it like I always do. And you know what? Sometimes biopics can be actually pretty cool, so I hope this is going to be one of them. So yeah, with that being said... Uh, I'm going to watch Nora now, and I will see you after I've seen the film. Nora, what a movie to go out on, and with that I mean that it wasn't very interesting at all. It was mostly boring. It, it, it was very confusing to me, like the relationship between James Joyce and Nora Barnacle was very weird, very sporadic. One moment they hated each other, were yelling at each other, and then the next moment they were making love. Very awkward and weird, and I didn't really like it. I, I felt like I couldn't follow. Also, the movie did a really poor job of explaining who James Joyce was. Just before I put on the movie, I remembered, oh yeah, he wrote Ulysses, didn't he? Never read Ulysses, but... At least that's a title I know, um, but it never mentions that James is a writer. It, it, it doesn't explain James's character very well, and you might think like, yeah, well, the movie's titled Nora, so uh, it's obvious that James isn't the main character, but Nora isn't explained that well either. I, I'm not sure why I should know her. Like, my guess is just that she's James Joyce's wife, but, you know, whether she achieved something in life or not is unknown to me. Um, the movie doesn't explain it very well. As I said, the relationship was very weird. There were a lot of graphic scenes, but I think there were worse movies in the Ewan mcgregor uh, Ewan McGregor himself was fine. Uh, he had a, a very smooth, uh, performance, I thought. His voice was uh, quite high and soft and really soothing for some reason. His accent I couldn't really place. I figured that James Joyce is Irish. They made that quite clear in the movie, I think, but I couldn't really distinguish this accent from his normal Scottish one, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he even attempted to do a different accent. I liked Susan Lynch's performance as Nora. Uh, I think she was the the high point of the movie. Um, and Ewan McGregor as well. They were both very good. It, it's as I said, it's just the, the relationship between them didn't make sense to me at all. Um, just nothing really happened in this film. It was a constant switch between fighting and loving each other and, you know, not my thing, but good performances. I really like the wardrobe of this film and there were some good shots in there as well, so that is why I'm giving the film a 6 out of 10. And with that, we've done them all. This was the last movie that I had to watch that featured Ewan McGregor. And uh, yeah, now I've literally seen every single feature film that Ewan McGregor has been in. This is quite the achievement. <laughs> I I'm actually really proud of myself. You know, that's 64 movies that he's been in, and that's not counting Star Wars 7 and 9. 
and let's face it, he's not in those. He didn't go somewhere to feature in those movies, right? Uh, but that's besides the question. 64 films with you and McGregor in it, and you know what? It's been it's been a journey. Um, now that I have seen them all, I think I'm going to do a ranking of some sorts, even though it's difficult because I've seen most of these movies only once, and that was one and a half year ago, and most of them just kind of blend together. But I'll see how I solve that. Expect maybe a ranking video somewhat soon, but knowing me soon could mean in half a year or something. But anyway, that's it. I figure the next episode of the Ewan McGregor Athon will be Obi Wan Kenobi, the mini series on Disney Plus, but I have no idea when that will be coming out, so join me for that, and uh, maybe I will see you then. Goodbye.